Hey guys, Pokemon Master 556 here, and what I've got for you today is a very special package that actually came in from Japan. I won this on an auction. Most of you have probably never even seen one of these before, and it, I believe, probably actually will be a YouTube first for an opening of it. So without further ado, yeah, check that out, you guys. So this is a Mew Lucario gift box. I am so excited to have this. Um, it's being opened, as you guys know. I am trying to get PSA 10 Japanese gold stars. And if you guys didn't know, there's some of the stuff, the contents of the inside right there. Now, I don't know if the gold stars are sealed, but if they are, that is oh so awesome. Because I've never seen these sealed on eBay, or I've never even seen one in a good condition for that matter. They're always got a lot, always have a lot of edge wear. Look at that awesome Pikachu and Mewtwo fighting. Very awesome. And there's that. So this is a really, really rare box. And trust me, guys, I had to pay quite a bit of money for it. Um, but anyways, guys, without further ado, the seal is coming off. And with it, I don't know, I can really kind of say I don't really feel like the value has been depreciated by me opening this because of the contents of the cards. I'm really hoping that they look perfect when I take these out because I did hear what sounded like some cards rattling around in there. And I'm really hoping that the gold stars weren't just bouncing around in there loose. Because I've paid a pretty fair amount of money for this just to try to get my hands on a Pikachu that looked PSA 10 gradable worthy. Um, really don't feel like spending the amount of money people are asking for them, which is overpriced, you know. Um, but yeah, anyways, that was just a cover. So I guess there's Mewtwo's tail and all the energies on the side. Now this is just a really, really cool tin. Just to even look at, look how awesome that is. Mewtwo, or Mew and Lucario fighting on the front side of this. Anyways, guys, this is from 2005. It looks like it says, and oh man, so glorious to be opening this. I got my sleeves ready, and I really hope none of these are scratched up or damaged at all. I'll be really sad because I definitely intend on grading this Lucario card because it is so, so sick looking. And there's the gold stars sitting underneath. I really hope they don't get damaged bouncing around. Look at this a glorious um, Lucario card. <laughs> I forgot the, um, the trainer name for this card. But uh, anyways think that these are taped in the back and it looks like this card has a little bit of damage on it on the back so I'm really hoping that there's nothing important that got damaged um, seals on here are kind of tough there we go I'd rather open them from the back instead of trying to slide them out so I'm sorry if this opening takes a little longer than usual because this stuff's kind of tape Kind of like tape. So we'll go through all the cards right after I sleeve this up. And yeah, they're a little bit bowed. Um, and that is just awful. I am really, really sad to see that on here. Um, it looks like there is a crease, actually. If you could kind of see that. That, that really makes me sad. I should have, now I feel like I should have kept this sealed. Now I'm really scared to look at the Pikachu and the Mewtwo. But it's a, just a beautiful card. I might be able to fix it, get that out of there um, without it being noticeable. I, I don't know. That looks like quite a bit of damage, unfortunately to say. Um, so guys, just to let you know, this is a risky business, you know, opening such old boxes like that. Um... Anyways, this is that from the first deck. Got a Nose Pass, Bar Boach, Wizcash, Aran, Laron, some trainers, some energies, Rainbow Energy, all that stuff. So I'm looking at this Mewtwo Gold Star here. I'm going to move this Mew aside and just pray 
that the, neither of these are damaged because, like I said, that's a lot of money to be crapped down the drain. And it looks, thank God, oh thank God, I don't see any damage on this Mewtwo. Um, I do have a PSA 10 of this card right now, so get a look, get a load of that. Let's hope that that Lucario was the only one that was damaged. I really wanted to actually get a PSA 10 set of these cards, just because they look so beautiful, especially that Lucario EX. Um, just a really cool looking card, so I might be looking to find an ungraded version of one of those cards. So that's the Mewtwo EX. Set this down here. Be careful to take out this Pikachu. This is the one that's just gold. So, sorry if I'm taking a little while to myself to look at these. It's very important to open these up and be very careful with them. It appears that there is a tiny bit of like edge wear at the bottom left side, but I don't think that it's something that they'll dock me for. It doesn't really look like it's a part of the card. Um, from what I've seen, a lot of the time, these cards wind up getting 10s. And a lot of them are like, got a little bit of nicking on them and stuff. But anyways, guys, look at that. I really wish that these would have been sealed in the box. That would have been so much more awesome to see that, you know. But yeah, Pikachu Gold Star from the gift box. There's no such thing as a first edition version. Just a... Really, really awesome card have you to have in the collection. Anything from, you know, Generation 1 is just so amazing. So, get this one under here. Get this underway. This is the Crawdont. So, all these are, like, from Hall and Phantoms. The three EXs from Hall and Phantoms. The exclusive and very awesome Lucario. And the three EXs and the... Two out of the three gold stars. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to slide this off. But wow, these are really tense. There's a lot of tension on these. Um, these things are put on there quite tightly. Wish that they would just uh, have these in something different. But, you know, I can't change the past, you guys. Can't change the past. It's open. There's no turning back. Let's pray for the rest of these cards. And that is not good, it feels like. Wow. Really hope that's not right on the front of the card. Okay, good. This is like taped all the way around, and I'm just like removing it. So many circles. There we go. Okie dokie. So, Crawdont is out. Hopefully he is safe from destruction. Looks like he's quite a bit off-center. Um, don't know what they're going to have to say about that, but... It is a pretty cool looking card. So that, ladies and gents, is the Crawdont EX. Very cool looking. And this is actually the first time I've ever even held Japanese EX cards. And wow, this card is actually probably very underappreciated. Look at that uh, gleam on the water gun shooting out of his claw. Or it's probably not a water gun. It's probably like hydro pump or something. I don't know. But just a beautiful looking card. I'll probably grade it anyways. Because um, you never know with PSA. Sometimes they give stuff high grade and still give it 10s. But let me uh, hear from you guys in the comment section below if you think that might be able to get a 10. I'm thinking it looks like a 9. But PSA has some off days and they grade stuff odd. So we got Surskit, Masquerain, Surviper, Crawdont, Relicamp. Um, probably switch energy looks like, um, some trainers, bills, maintenance, some, man, I wish that they all, these were all foils, look at all these, that would have been so amazing if these were hollows, but yeah, that's really cool, it's like a, you know, the non-hollow version of the Hall and Phantoms cards, um, that would have been really, really awesome if those were hollows, alright, so this is a really awesome card too, Mew EX, um, let me try to get this band off of here. Um, geez. I feel like if I tried to use scissors, I'd just scratch the crap out of the back card. But, you know, it is 
just an energy card after all. But these stupid tape, wow, look at that, just falls right apart. <laughs> all right, let's go for the gold. <clears throat> on there so freaking tight that's what she said <laughs> sorry that was in bad taste all right guys so here we are this card is beautiful look at that so mu ex couldn't look sexier the centering is great doesn't appear to have any damage on the back there is a tiny bit of whiting on there but should be fine. Very awesome looking card. So I'll be sleeving this beauty up. Sorry if I am taking a little bit of extra time with this, trying to be very careful with these, but as you guys know, pretty sure this is a YouTube first video, and that's freaking awesome because I don't have any YouTube first videos so with that saying shut up guys <laughs> so we got an electric Mainetric. actually I think I got that is that right yeah I think so bow toy clay doll Zangoose uh, master ball professor oak something something some awesome lightning and psychic energies now these are all quarter decks, what you guys are seeing here, and that is why you're seeing them in packs of what appears to be 15 cards each. Um, pretty freaking awesome. So I don't know if there's anything else in this box other than what's in my hand here, but let's try to get this stupid band off of the cards. Come on, baby. <laughs> Wow, I really wish that they would have thought of something different for these boxes. They are really cool, but it's just like, honestly, a lot of wasted space. But still, nonetheless, pretty sick. Wow. So look at this beauty of a card right here. Mighty Anna EX. Just look at that background on that card. I feel like... Now looking at these cards in Japanese compared to the English version from the set, I feel like this set is so underrated now. Because this card looks so freaking beautiful. So very awesome. And this card looks to be the best looking one that I've looked at out of all of them, actually. But yeah, really, really sweet looking card. I'm going to stand up and look inside of the box and see if there's anything else hiding in there. And it looks like just a bunch of cardboard filler. Oh, look at that. So it comes with a little bit more. This is the box that was in there. Um, it looks like it comes with a coin here and, oh yeah, some damage counters and some other stuff. So, you know, the usual damage counters, a giant, bo um, just like a big booklet, probably explaining the game and the cards and everything. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't that be nice to own, huh? Look at that Umbreon Gold Star down there, that Umbreon Play promo. Wouldn't this be beautiful to have in all PSA 10, you guys? I'm pretty sure that's all 25 of them. 4, 8, 12... Four, eight, ten. So I think it looks like there's only 20. You know, uh, I'm losing my train of thought today. It looks like there's 22 in there, but long day at work. Long day at work. Very cool. If I recall, there's 27 gold stars total, but I could just be crazy. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's not quite the end of it. Got this really freaking cute looking... <laughs> Pikachu coin here pretty funny looking and then I'm not gonna open up and show this but it's just you know a sealed play mat more or less and then so along with the mighty Enna stuff here we got a Nummel, Camerupt, Torkoal, I like Torkoal, uh, Poochie Enna 
and a little bit of focus. So Absol, very cool. Looks like a, I don't know, some sort of switch. Professor Birch, fossil researcher maybe. Some fire energies, uh, one darkness energy, and a rainbow energy. So, guys, this was really, really cool to open. But I am, as a matter of fact, quite, quite sad about poor Lucario EX having the damage on the side there that you could see up there, that crease right there. Man, that sucks. But just be thankful it wasn't on the Pikachu or the Mewtwo Gold Star because I really, really need those and they're super epic and that's why I bought this. So, guys, who do you think would win in a battle? <laughs> Let's not be crazy now. We all know Mewtwo would totally get destroyed by this Pikachu, boss Pikachu with his arms crossed. But anyways, guys, sorry for the extremely long video and... Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot. Peace.